show you some uh, testing and uh, quality checking I'm doing. Some, I have got some tools. Uh, this is a volt meter and also the current meter. And uh, this is the uh, RPM meter. It show you uh, how many RPM the motor is running. And this thing is pretty cool and uh, I just bought it a few days ago because um, because the main concern of all electric skateboards is about heating, high temperature, may break, damage the ESC, damage the motor. So uh, the easy way I, I can check the temperature of all this stuff is having this uh, temperature camera. Uh, one of my customers suggested that uh, I should use this and I bought one immediately. And you can read uh, from this camera the temperature of uh, every part. Now when it's going into the motor, you see the temperature 29. It's going into the ESC 29. I know it's not working. It's not uh, running so the temperature is low but when it's running especially for hours at max speed I should know and we should know how hard, how hot it is and uh, is it uh, acceptable or if it, there is something wrong with it we can know that easily with this camera and, uh, the first thing we need to check is uh, uh, the yeah we turn this to the direct volt meter to check the volt yeah. and it says 20, uh, when it's fully charged it will be 42 so it's not fully charged and the, um, this cable connects to the battery here so we check the battery voltage voltage is correct here the voltage is near 42 okay. <coughs> uh, and then okay so the battery is good we connect it and we this is the yes remote uh, it has smart turn on okay this motor this motor you swing it it will turn on uh, another check we will do is we try to spin the motor by our hand it, if it starts or resistant to spin there is something wrong we know it and we replace it and and yeah first is working good yeah and now, yeah, it's connected. And now we go to the slow mode. <coughs> yeah, it's working. Okay, we go to the second tour. Get this on. And then what we do is we want to know how fast it is it spinning. Oh, well, let's uh, check the RPM in slow mode. It's somewhere near near 1130. We can measure it. And we point it to it. Uh, this is in a faster mode. You, you can see it's uh, 2080. Um, we, can, we can do an easy calculation. <coughs> We can do an easy calculation. Is two thousand and eighty, uh, two thousand and eighty RPM, and uh, multiple by the uh, diameter of the motor is uh, nineteen, and uh, multiple by the by three point one four, and this is a circle length, and this is and uh, we got uh, the distance. Uh, in one minute and uh, for one hour we we multiply by six then we got the uh, speed of the maple ball in theory is uh, 35 kilometers per hour here the current flowing inside is uh, 1.5 is somewhere near 1.5 amps um you, you can see there is only half uh, battery left so the voltage is going down and the current going up is 1.5 amps for two motors 
for so we can say for each model the max uh, current is only 0 0.7 somewhere near 0 0.7 uh, at the beginning is 0 0.6 and now is 0 0.7 so that is really a small current uh, so basically if you are cruising at a perfect land yeah, you, you can do the math by yourself, 4.4 amps and uh, 1.3 amps per hour, you, you divide 4.4 to 1.2, that's the hours you can go with maple board in theory. As you can see here, uh, on this shelf, on this shelf, we have, uh, we have many uh, maple boards, which are Completely assembled. They are assembled and they are working good. But we need to run it from full battery to empty. It's usually um, it's usually more than three hours, three hours and a half. Uh, and uh, here, yeah, I carry this, and I will know the temperature. Okay, you can see uh, this one. The <clears throat> the power indicator is full, means it's not running quite a long time. Let's find something like this. You see, it's all, the battery is almost empty. I'm pretty sure this one has run for more than three hours, and the motor is still running. Okay, so let's see the temperature. Wow, 44. And uh, we go check closer. 56. Yeah, it's 56 around. I guess 16. I was expecting to see something 16. 40, 15, 3, 15, 4, 15, 5. Okay. And and the ESC case. 30. Um, <clears throat> usually we, we should uh, check this, um, opening the ESC case and then check the temperature on the PCB board. Okay, um, as you can see the truck is also getting really hot. Um, so um, that's the way uh, we so that's the way we treat it with the uh, heat issue. We, we, we can, like this, <laughs> we get all these items in in the camera and so we can see everything, is, is, if there is some, anything overheat or in high temperature, we know it here. Hmm. Usually, um, a motor will not be damaged uh, when the temperature is uh, is below 100, is below 90. Um, so uh, when it's uh, like uh, 15, 60, 50, 60, uh, it's really good. It's really a good temperature that will never damage the motor. So, so. Um, Okay, so this uh, that I I will go back to uh, the uh, quality checking and uh, check the packages for everyone and uh, uh, please uh, please like my um, Facebook page is a uh, Mipo Electric Skateboard. Thank you everyone. I will keep uh, up my work and uh, show you what I'm doing. Thank you guys. Bye bye. Um, you know, um, I have been riding my Nimble board for more than three months. Every day, on average, 10 kilometers. That's almost uh, 1,000 kilometers. Um, you know, um, I'm not that kind of guy that uh, treasure my stuff, my, uh, treasure my goods uh, very good. Uh, I want the to serve me and I don't need to take care of him. I don't need to care of him. So I usually I do stupid things uh, with my skateboard. So 
One thing I want to get is an electric state border. You can step on and you can do stupid things with, and it is still durable. Uh, usually, uh, when I get to this kind of thing, And uh, to make sure that um, it doesn't break, it doesn't break. To make sure it doesn't break, um, I need to do uh, another test for mirror board. Uh, that is, uh, I will do a, a falling falling down test. Okay, uh, let's begin. So another test I want to do is that. Uh, you know, when you go out, you carry your people board and something you, you just get tired. You don't know what to do this uh, every time. What I do, I usually just do it like this. But why not? You get a skateboard. When you are riding a non-electric skateboard, you do this every day, right? Why not do it right now with people board? You can damage it, really, because I do that almost every day. Downstairs and uh, falling over and over. I don't think there is any part inside where broken. Turn it on. Long press. Long press for 10 seconds. Yeah, it's flashing at, at last. And then what do you do? Turn on the remote and click here. It's done. Okay, it's working, right? Brake, accelerate. It's working, <coughs> it's working good. And uh, you can see this. Yeah.